parts I'm going to use to make me a real simple little hood that will allow me to vent hydrogen and gas out of the garage. First task is to cut down the 2x4s to 2x2s. Of course that makes them one and a half by one and a half. I got to love the wood in industry. <laughs> For small pieces like this, when you're cutting down this little, make sure you got a rip board. bottom frame ready for me to move to the next step okay I went ahead and built a box for the top and I used a piece of scrap 1 by 8 and some scrap 2 by 4s just cut everything to length and uh, screwed it all down now what I need to do is uh, build my exhaust pipe and that's basically just I'm going to drill a hole in the top like this and then I'll run a piece of two inch PVC pipe out to the window and I'll get started on the hole by the way this is a two and a half inch hole saw which is resisting use <laughs> let's try that again It's a good thing this is just a rough project. Well, I got the hole cut with the camera turned off again. Now it's, and I've got me a nice smoking hole here. Let's see if this fits. That looks like it's going to fit real nice. Well, there's the hole in the top of the box, and here's the pieces I'm going to use to connect the PVC pipe. Unfortunately, if I had to drill a hole in the bottom, and, and anytime you drilled out a hole and tried to do it again with a larger uh, hole saw, it just makes a mess. And all that was because there wasn't quite enough thread on the, on this piece to get a hold of it. And there it is. Well, this part is proven to be painful. I used this rag box here to get the height I wanted. And I started custom cutting the supports. I got one more to do. Just showing off what she looks like in progress. Well, there it is. Completed hood frame. What's next is to attach plastic. Sheet, that is. There's where I'm going to put the exhaust pipe, and there's the collection box. Well, the next step was to caulk everything, and I let it harden overnight so I could continue uh, putting plastic and stuff on this thing. But uh, yeah, the whole inside of the box, every joint got caulked, and the plastic flange I caulked all the joints in it too. Okay, now I'm attaching the plastic. Well, I already did the two ends to make this a little easier on me. But uh, what I do is I 
take the end here and I fold it under so I got a double piece of plastic right on the edge and then I take this little trusty arrow stapler and I staple it down well there it is with the plastic partially mounted I uh, got it a little bit too tight right here but I can fix this with a piece of clear tape the general idea is make sure that it can bow in and up that you can staple in the center and that's where I did second the first place was in the corners of course but now all I need to do is cut off the excess fold under the edges and start the massive amounts of stapling that needs to be done now to uh, get the center here to bow in the amount I wanted to I had to have a little bit of sag in the scent in the on the outer edges and to get these side panes taut what I did was I folded this over right where the support beam is and it'll be covered later so what this actually does it's like a pleat so once you put a pleat in here then these side panels should be quite a bit more taut well there's the plastic all attached took a little while there's a couple hundred staples there I was gonna put uh, wood strips over the staples but I don't think I need to do that I think instead I'll uh, experiment a little bit and see if uh, covering up the critical ones up here at the collection box with uh, tape will work just fine let you know how it turns out now what I did was I cut a plus where the plastic covers the collection box and what I'm going to do is push that plastic up inside the box and staple it all down well there it is with the cover on it and I went ahead and tapped it down and I put clear packing tape over over all the staples uh, it does two things first it makes it a little less likely for there to be leaks and it seems to make it a little more sturdy right where the staples are helps it resist tearing the beauty of this if I tear it a little bit I can fix it with the clear tape if I burn it up well I'm out about two dollars worth of plastic sounds like a winner to me now what I need to do is uh, set this aside and start working on uh, what's going to hold it up in the air okay what I did next was I put lag eye bolts into the trusses up in the ceiling four of them for direct support then there's a fifth one out here that brings all four cords into one spot and then I've got a clothesline pulley mounted to the wall over here and a cleat down by the window that should allow me to adjust the height of the hood once I get it installed well the hood is up in position everything is set I could make some minor tweaking to make it look prettier but I'm not into pretty right now I just want to get this done okay there is the finished product not bad for garage engineering if I do say so myself I uh, set it up so that the fit is snug on that joint up there that way then I can take down the pipe and lock the window when I'm done but the whole thing cost me about 40 bucks and it's time for dinner <laughs>